these VTubers, these animated girls, they can do so much. So like a lot of these indie VTubers nowadays, like they can be like as any content creator they like. They stream gaming content, they stream whatever they like. And I think that's one of the main reasons um, a lot of people have migrated from supporting physical idols to these virtual idols. That's my take on it. This is Podcast 92, Jayagone with Keepsakes. Thank you for watching and listening to the show. We are back with a conversation on marketing, idols, and VTubers. I have with me Teddy Cambosa, a writer for Marketech APAC and Paksa MNL, as well as a fan of virtual YouTuber Aozora Kurumi. Stay tuned as I will also share some of my insights on the VTubing community from way back January. Matagal na to and it's kind of outdated, but... This is the time that I can at least share some of what I think. So without further ado, please enjoy the show. On this episode, we have Teddy Cambosa. He is a writer for Marketech APAC. He's also writing for Paksa MNL. And he is being introduced to virtual YouTuber Aozara Kurumi, the Air Asia VTuber. And furthermore, he lined ko siya along the way during this episode into the deeper rabbit hole that is the VTuber side of, you know, the industry side, the agency side, and the indie side as well. So, hi, Teddy. Welcome to the show. Hi, Jay. Um, thanks for having me on your show. Um, it's actually a pleasure to be here with you today, especially we will be discussing a variety of things. So, once oh. again, thank you very much for having me. Yeah. ano ka. Ang dami kong ginawa prior to this, so... Uh, yeah, I, who... I know you, <laughs> I know you did a lot of research, so I appreciate um, your time doing that. <laughs> Actually, no, I uh, tinignan lang kita, so ito, nakikita ko to. So, of course, uh, Teddy is mostly on Twitter these days. Uh, MNL48, okay. Yes. Hindi ko pinapansin kasi your username is Teddy underscore WE48. Uh, <laughs> Which means a uh, part eight of uh, graduate now sa MNL eh, sa idols eh. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pero we still talk about we still talk about yung uh, yeah. idols kasi yeah, yung, no, like way back then parang active active active, active pa natin ano. Eh, and I had episodes previously talking about mm-hmm. MNL part eight, the second general election, the dreaded yes. second general mm-hmm. election, and uh, yung isang nakausap ko sa otaku. You know, the uphold uh, uphold AKB tradition thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, a, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, really. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah I, I'd like to hear more from you. Are you still supporting MNL48? Well, um, uh, to be frank, um, I've already I have already announced from the fandom, like, um, if I'm not mistaken, like, two to three months ago that I would be leaving the fandom because at that time, like, after the third general elections concluded, there's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of like seemingly civil war in the fandom. Civil war, like, talaga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd like to quote that word because, to be honest, like it's a bit ironic to say the least that um, the chaos within the ML48 fandom are the fans themselves that are triggering it. So, chaos. yeah. Th- I mean, there's a lot of confusion, like leaks everywhere, keys everywhere. Um, this disinformation, is- disinformation. Uh-huh. Yung yes. mga talagang wishful thinking talaga, sobrang yeah. wishful thinking talaga. Also, a lot of cloud chasers. Also, a lot of those who want to put themselves on the pedestal, not going to name any names. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm like, I'm so tired of this process. Like, it seems like a roller coaster. Like, you go up, up the top, the climax. This like, this is a big event. ML14 is going, um, going to take place. And then sooner or later, it all goes downhill from there. So yeah, after yeah, after I got and uh, funnily enough, I, after I got introduced to Alzora Kuren, it's like perfect. It's the perfect diversion from my support as an MN an, an MN love. So I announced like yeah, two months ago, like I'm leaving the band. But that doesn't mean like I'm full. I'm cutting off my ties with the ML48 since I'm still affiliated with. Examinal, and we had a lot of stuff coming up that um, we want to show more support to the ML48 by means of journalistic endeavors. Mm-hmm. Kasi walang nagto-document ang mga bagay-bagay na to. Uh, let's yeah. say, mm-hmm. um, 
I'm uh I'm I don't know if you're familiar with this group called Otaku Bites. I think they yeah. move forward na sa ano. Yeah. Uh, wala masyadong balita sa idols yan or wala lang talaga akong wala balita talaga. sa akong community. Yeah. yeah. The last time they made an announcement was during the launch of the River music video and after mm-hmm. that they eventually moved on to other things like being focused on anime and generally J-pop culture in general. But mm-hmm. idols, not so much. I think they already went past that. Oh, uh, huli-huli na ako sa palita kasi yeah. um, I had uh, I had the colleague there so uh, I miss her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's uh, good for you. Like, um, going back to your episodes, like you interviewed Faith and Ash for their Polar debut. Yeah, their Polar debut. Oh, oh. I have yeah. to get back to them about that. No, pero they, I think they're going to release con- uh, oh, yeah. new content anytime yeah. within this yeah. month. I think they Or, they specifically mm-hmm. announced that yes, within this month they'll be releasing new content. If I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. because I actually followed them after they graduated. I like behind, I mean, in the shadows, mm-hmm. just following them. Like, what are their movements? What are their new endeavors? So, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And and to think na there's because, uh, de ba most fans will think ah, wala ng life after idols. I don't know. I don't know. I'm putting. I don't know if I'm putting words in others' mouths. Pero, uh, beg, ano, I beg for uh, indulgence, ano, kasi itong yun yeah. ay buhay idol and all. Like there's uh, a lot of things have changed. Uh, yeah. Dante idols are physical. You can meet now nowadays. They are anime girls that you can super chat to. So, paano na? I mean, wala na bago, wala na bago, mas sumapit lang. Well, um, to come to think of that, um, people are now slowly transitioning to accepting idols, not in the orthodox way, but mm-hmm. going to more more progressive and modernist way. Like, if you were to look back at the concept of J-pop itself, the idols, the idol groups themselves, they are still fixated to that. Um, closet mind, uh, closet minded set. Like, um, what I, how would I say this? Like, they're still fixated to portraying an image of what to be, what to be is like an idol. Like, um, you need to be inspired by them. Like, uh, they are bound to these rules. Whereas these VTubers, these animated girls, they can do so much. So, like, a lot of these indie VTubers nowadays, like, they can be, like, as any content creator they like. They stream gaming content. They stream whatever they like. And I think that's one of the main reasons um, a lot of people have migrated from supporting physical idols to these virtual idols. That's my take on it. And at the same time, um, sabihin natin na you can be say-so and then you can be say so <laughs> say so yeah. say so I mean, so Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. I mean, Kurumi herself, like, um, she uh, banners herself as being say so. But <laughs> um, deep down, I do know that there's a, I don't know, hidden inside of her. We'll see to that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, uh, yun nga yung nature sa VTubers nowadays. Eh. Uh, yeah. Yung, yung, yung say so ka, tapos biglang a few weeks after, inihintay lang yung, yung pagka say so mo eh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, they'll, uh-huh. uh, they'll, the, uh, your followers will be quick enough to caught you off guard on your, whatever, on your stream or on your Twitter, on your tweets. Like, mm-hmm. haha, uh, you've gone past your say so face. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tapos, tapos nandiyan yung mga clippers. Pero of oh, course, yeah. uh, hindi, hindi, hindi matatawaran yung contribution. It's, it started yeah. from the Clippers and then Kiryu Koko, uh, mm-hmm. bless her. And yung, yun nga, the development of Hololive English and then eventually Niji Sanji English. Last few mm-hmm. weeks ago, uh, we've had, uh, or last week, uh, last, oh, yeah. just last week, we had... Iris? Ano ba? Iris. Yeah, Iris. Yeah. Iris. And, and now, um, Niji, yung, ano niya, and now Niji, San, Niji Sanji has, really, has debuted another group. If I'm not mistaken, like you watched wave it. Two. You, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> wave two, yeah, yeah. Wave two, obsidian. Mm. So, yeah. mm-hmm. I think one of the one of the greater assets that I think about VTubers in general is um, a lot of them have played through the random algorithm of YouTube. Um, thanks to these clippers, like um, when they capture specific moments, like a lot mm. of these trends. Um, here's a good example. 
um, the genre city pop, Japanese city pop genre, was not relatively known during the 2014s, 2015s. But there, um, there's a sudden emergence during 2016 to 2018. And of course, we all know the classic Plastic Love by Maria Takeuchi, which mm -hmm. then gave birth to a lot of those similar sounding tracks, which rose to a, a online following of city pop genre enthusiasts. And I think that speaks also to um, the culture of VTubers in general. Thanks to these short clips, these clippers have made throughout these years, throughout these months, um, they have uh, made an online following, like sort of an cult, if you think so, but mm -hmm. a positive cult of following online. So yeah. Uh -uh. Don't, don't, don't forget that the city pop exists with paper wave. So yeah, paper wave na yan. Oh yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I, I got I got into paper wave because nostalgic at the same time. Yeah. Tulog mall. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, yeah, the mall like an abandoned mall during the seventies, like oh, oh. those um those in Glorietta. <laughs> oh, oh, Glorietta. Uh, ano pa ba? Uniwide. Yeah. Yeah, Uniwide. That, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good example. Yeah. Oh, from mga abandoned ball si uh, abandoned ball si Uniwide eh, until yeah. the properties were either sold, uh, transformed. I think it's still, else. ano? I think it's still abandoned, if I'm not mistaken. Like I passed through, I don't know, like, like last year when I uh, before the pandemic hit mm -hmm. us, I actually passed through on um on the way from Pasay to Nasubu. I passed uh, through the we passed through Coastal. Coastal Mall, oh, the Coastal yeah. Mall. Yeah, yeah. The unforgettable Coastal Mall na. Super 8, my Super 8 sa loob, pero you still don't know eh. <laughs> That's true. Anyways. Hmm. Ayun. Alright, so uh, at the moment, uh, we have discussed mga VTubers natin. And yeah. after, siguro, hint ko na, no, after this recording, so mauuna yung live na broadcast namin sa Facebook. Na, you know, the, the, the days pretty much productive ano? yeah um okay so now uh ito I'll, I'll be sharing something ano ito kasi this is already a plan since january pa pero mm -hmm. i have revealed this to a little much uh, pretty much a few people only mm -hmm. so uh this one here uh i don't i'm oh, not sure kung makita na maayos ano ah. um mm -hmm. yung ito, this this is uh being in a marketing company per se, uh, mm -hmm. your story has tried to emulate the competitive analysis of uh, Porter's, Porter's, this is Porter's five uh, forces of, mm -hmm. uh, oh, Porter's five forces. I, I tried, I tried. Mm -hmm. So this one kasi is, uh, hindi nalingit sa kalaman na lahat na mm -hmm. VTubers are becoming much, much more saturated nowadays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, hindi rin may iwasan. Mm -hmm. mm, yung mga NVTubers. Not mm -hmm. the ENVTubers sa iba yon. Yes. NV oh. tweeters. Oo, oh, the NV tweeters na um there's uh, I I would like to bring up this issue na nag-debut si Iris. And yes. those who know know that before all of this, Iris has a past experience in producing content. Yeah. I mean, actually, that's a good. Um, actually, that's a good thing you've raised that because. Oh, I don't know but if you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, are are you pertaining to that tweet from Jusagi Chan? Yeah, Jusagi. Oh, now, yeah. um, I, I, I believe you mentioned. I believe you replied to that as well. But what I had in mind is that yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Yung, yung simply, mm -hmm. of course, they they forgot that uh, this this person right here, na kinuha ng Holo Life to be the English V singer. Mm -hmm. has production experience prior to yeah. everything. And hindi naman, that, kukuha, hindi naman kukuha si Hololive ng, ng walang talent talaga. Eh. Yeah. yeah. Th I mean, that's a lot of what of those in the community, that's a lot of what um, in the community have forgotten in regards mm -hmm. to this. Um, I mean, it's a bit of, I don't know, it's a bit offensive for people to say like, oh, Iris is um, a corporate back feature. No. I mean, sure. I mean, a well-known agency is holding her, but as you've mentioned, Iris has prior uh, prior um, um, 
experience beforehand um, before debuting as Iris. So I think there's what there's this one tweet that I saw that um I don't know who tweeted that, but um mm. she particularly said that focus on your small wins. Yes, focus on small wins, which is tama naman eh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ako, this is, uh, ako, I, I consider this as a win, us talking about VTubers. Kasi it's been a long yeah. time since I produced a podcast eh. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long time. After a few months, uh, medyo mm-hmm. nagtagalan talaga after two months. So the last podcast was last month. Isang, one, one month ago with Focus Graduation. And I, I yeah, yeah. just pulled in my friends. Pero... Nowadays kasi talagang nasa utang pa VTubers na VTubers are literally living rent-free in my head. And I cannot stop it. And yeah. I, can, I, can just, I can just think of any slice of life scenario wherein uh, I can be delirious or tune or whatnot pero yung parang kausap mo lang kung maring kapitbahay mo VTuber imagine yeah. that. Yeah. I mean In 2042 that can happen. <laughs> I mean To be fair, like um, when I got first introduced to Azora, like I'll, I'll tell you a little bit of a story of how I actually got into this rabbit hole. So we at Market Tech Ape, the site that I'm writing for, so we've actually covered um, Air Asia's uh, prior announcement of the audition for for, for Project Hawaii. Yes. I was like, okay, this is a bit interesting, but off the back of my head, it's just like, yeah, it's just another news. It's like, yeah, it, it, another day passes, just another news coming through. And then, that was March. If I'm not mistaken, that was March when they first announced um, the, uh, the for the talents. And then, come May, um, May 6th, 6th or 5th, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm getting the dates wrong off my head. And then, Air Asia finally announces who the character is. I mean, it, it was not me who wrote the article. It was my colleague, Jean. And then, all of a sudden, when I clicked that article, I was like, oh, interesting. And prior to that, I don't know anything about VTuber culture in general. I, I'm, I'm just thinking it's like, eh, it's just um, a fad. I was thinking like, uh, don't, I know, don't get, uh, don't, uh, I'm sorry if I'm being offensive. I was thinking of the, of the back mind. Yeah, it's just a pop culture fad. Yes. And then, mm-hmm. And then I click on the article. Ayan, I, think... I was brought to her Twitter account. Mm. And, then, like, and then I was checking her Twitter account. Like, oh, she has a Twitter account. Then I followed. And then I was checking her clips prior to her debut. Like, you know, those cutesy clips uh, yes. being made by Iron Vortex. Yes. Like, oh, she looks cute. And then I followed her. It's like, And then I got me thinking, like, what if I watch her first ever stream? So I retweeted it. So I was like, I'm not, I, if I remember it correctly, I said, I'm not much into VTuber culture. But after seeing, the, uh, after we've, re- we've written about Azora Konami, I'm really excited for her endeavors. And then minutes later, she replied. Like, excited to see her. She's like, I don't know. Like, my mind was literally blown. Like, Oh my gosh! Wait, it's a VTuber that I'm interacting. It's like, oh my god, I'm gonna like, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna fade. This is my first interaction. Stop, stop. And, and then she said, oh my god, you're adorable. I can't wait to see you. Like, Great. I was like, I have yeah, decided. At that very moment, I decided. Yeah, I'm gonna follow her. I'm gonna follow her journey, and that's when I uh, when I made. Aki Shimbun. Okay, Aki Shimbun. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let me pop, let, let me pop that up ano kasi I'm, in, I'm uh, that's interesting ano. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> kasi how how were you able how were you able to say do this? Kumbaga parang kasi mo sa isang interaction <laughs> and then you had you had a prior background na into writing into journalism and then suddenly you you created this a oh. post <laughs> or fan account. Dedicated to Kurumi. So, how? I mean, and, and you're I mean, being followed by Kurumi herself. Sheesh! I mean, funny enough, like, I said it on my main account, on Teddy Wee 48. I mm-hmm. specifically said, I think I finally found a new hobby. And I said, um, 
and then I said I set up this account so if you could follow it um, based on news updates about Azora for me give it a follow mm-hmm. minutes later Kurmi commented it's like oh my god I still feel so flattered and she was my first follower mind you she was the first follower of that account really now velocity is following you yeah um that um that particular uh, you know velocity followed me because um when they celebrated their 55,000 subscriber special so they made a a streaming marathon of reacting as much youtubers as, as possible so one of the kuru mates um, approached me um and said um, can you relate this to kuru me um maybe um velocity could react her and that was just um days after her debut mm-hmm. so i forwarded to kuru me and so yeah all of a sudden Velocity reacted to Kurumi, her cover, if I'm not mistaken, Villain by KDA, oh. that, short, yeah, that short cover. So, okay. yeah. And um, yeah, Velocity came through, loved Kurumi, and I was like, thank you. And I posted it on NK Shimbun, thanking Velocity for um, reacting to Kurumi. And what do I know? They followed me seconds later. <laughs> Ayos, ayos. Yeah. So, so, go ahead. Go ahead. That's, that's your journey as... Uh, okay, Ima- imagine me entering the VTuber community through a story on Marketech APAC and then eventually <laughs> uh, ga- uh, getting the attention. Kasi they, this is a time, this is a pivotal time in history. You see these VTubers, uh, there's already a challenge with bridging the VTubers and the marketing side. Diyan na buo ang story ng Vishojo in which I was able to interview mm-hmm. the gun run on anime, for Anime Corner. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yun, ano? That, that's, that, that's the thing, eh. Uh, yeah. you, can, you can see Hololive Production getting sponsorships from like Nissan or Asus or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and then, uh, and then, this. So, uh, imagine, even PlayAsia.com has their own VTuber now. Yeah. They, call, <laughs> they call him the CEO. I don't know. <laughs> oh, si, si Pam. Yeah, Pam. And, and dito sa Pilipinas, may mga nagsisilabasan ng mga agencies. Ano? Well, there are agencies before, like Pearl Orient, and then uh, Pearl Orient, tapos Crescent, now, the, the now Crescent Link, mm-hmm. that they deep sea shape. And then... I think, um, The agency Pan, Pan the Bread, uh, Otapi? O- Otapi, uh, Otaho, the Otaho Project. Uh, yun yan, ang, ang, ang weird na pangalan nila actually, to be honest. Uh, Otaho! <laughs> Pan intended. <laughs> yeah. Mga mahilig sa taho yung manager. Alright, so, yun yan, no? uh, okay, a, a lot of things we've discussed starting from Um, uh, your your journey from idols, tapos biglang you find you find a distraction, and then eventually uh, you went to Kurumi. But we haven't talked about your stint at marketing APAC. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we have in depth. Uh, aside from Paksa Emmanuel, you uh, I believe you're writing for marketing APAC and some other sites. Yeah. Um. So mainly I write for marketing APAC. So my position is actually regional tech journalist. So. I mostly cover on uh, tech-related um, marketing and advertising beats, and that includes marketing technology or martech, uh, advertising technology or ad tech, programmatic media, um, customer relationship management platforms, um, such as those of Qualtrics, Salesforce, etc. But I also um, I also write on other news, uh, other marketing and advertising news as well. So I write campaigns, Um, I write DOH campaigns, outdoor advertising um, platforms. And I think that one of the things that uh, sets our site apart from our competitor websites is that we have a dedicated content pillar for SMEs. Because um, as our slogan says, making marketing for all. So we want to have a space, a virtual space for any companies, big or small, to have a marketing and advertising space dedicated for them. So, yeah. Hmm. I see um, na talaga yung mga ganyang websites, ano? Yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, eventually, we could uh, 
you know, kasi marketing niya, it's like a deal, <laughs> nudge, nudge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, on top, um, aside from that, um, Paxa MNL was, um, I'm currently the one of the senior editors of Paxa MNL. Wait, kapwa, so, kapwa senior editor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was actually one of the original founding members of Paxa mm-hmm. MNL that was founded last year. Mm-hmm. So we, of, aside from creating news and updates about MNL48, so we tend to create op-ed pieces and human-centric feature stories about their support for the girls. And what else? Oh yeah, I'm currently contributing for a science-oriented website called Outbreak News Today, but not so much anymore. I just contribute once every two weeks. So mm-hmm. mainly contribute about... Um, Um, outbreak news, uh, of course, including COVID, so diarrhea outbreak, rabies outbreak, vaccines, um, researches, and development, etc. So that, those are my three main uh, writing endeavors at the moment. Mm-hmm. So it's really more into writing talaga? Yes, yeah. I mean, I built my passion on writing um, ever since 2018 when I started out as a freelance writer. I mean... Um, I started out as an academic writer, which, as you may know, is largely unethical. But, you know, gotta do the hustle. I did um, academic writing for clients across the United States and Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. And then I later, um, eventually ventured into um, social, media, um, social media captions, content research. So I worked with a UK-based digital marketing agency for about nine months before the pandemic hit. I was laid off. Oh. And, yeah. And that's my current job now, uh, being a regional tech journalist at Market Tech mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's nice to hear that you still have paid opportunities even during these times. Uh, oh, it's, yeah. it's also nice to see that you're thriving amidst all of these things that Na, na di divide mo yung time mo between say your hobbies, your interests, writing, si Kurumi and all. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, ha, ha, what's the day? Uh, you mentioned me the day in a life of a Teddy Camposa earlier na you stay at the internet cafe for around ah. 11 hours. <laughs> yeah, well... Uh, what's the rest? What's the rest? Can you tell me the rest? Yeah, um, the the typical uh, life for me. Um, on, um, I, of course, I wake up... Um, Um, by 6 or 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. Okay. Back. Yeah, and um, I don't uh, don't eat breakfast at home. I eat outside. Mm-hmm. I just pack up my baon, you know, the typical Tupperware. Mm-hmm. And um, I just venture up here to the computer shop, which opens around 8 a.m. Uh-oh. So, until 6, 7. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, Sabi that's ya. the that's a typical job for me. So, On weekdays, of course, I'm a full-time writer at um, Marketech APAC. But in between those days, when Kurumi has a schedule, uh, as you can see on, on the AK Shim, when I tend to up, always upload them um, daily, every time she has a stream schedule, like, for example, on that particular day, um, on that particular day, um, yeah, you can scroll down. Yeah, for example, that one. Um, she has actually a an upcoming collab paper with Oku from Polygon Project in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Polygon so of having... Aisha. Yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, I always um, create updates like stream updates or VOD updates or, for example, I also retweet fan content. So that's mainly a Kishimun what does so creating news and updates for. Kurumi, basically. Mm, I see. Okay, so moving on, uh, since we're talking about VTubers in Southeast Asia, Southeast Asia, I believe, has one of the most active VTubing communities yes. yeah, that is true. in the world. Next to the US, next to Japan, next to, say, Germany. Yeah, like I've seen I mean, a lot of VTubers in Germany. I mean, to be fair, one of our Kurumates on our early days of supporting Kurumi, like on her debut month, he actually said to me, I didn't know there was a Germany circle of VTubers because he first discovered the Southeast Asian circle of VTubers, which is mm-hmm. a surprising thing considering the fact that Southeast Asia is made 
I don't know how many countries like Malaysia, Singapore, and then come to think of it that there's a garden to an amount of VTubers here mm -hmm. in this region and a lot of agencies as well, um, mm -hmm. both large and upcoming as well. So yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, the same country. Uh, Singapore, I have yet to see yung VTubing community nila, but yeah. I'm, 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 I'm aiming to see what Singapore's VTubing community like. They have VTubers there as far as uh, uni virtuals tell me, no? Uh, mm -hmm. yun niya, pero ang lakas din ng turnaround kasi ng mga VTubers, no? Tama. Lang, <laughs> that is lang, ang lakas ng turnaround. And kakademyo, kakademyo mo, next few months, sikat ka, and then next few months after, uh, you, you secretly applied to an audition. And you had to graduate because you will be living a new life. I think. Yeah. I think. Uh, or that's that's the. I know that's the positive good pa. No? Mm -hmm. uh, worst case scenario, bored ka na, quit ka mm -hmm. na, done. Balik ka sa pagiging <laughs> fan. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I think one of those. Um, I think I witnessed um, a graduation of an indie VTuber. Um, mm -hmm. Like I don't know, last last June. Yeah, no, last month. So this um, particular VTuber, um, one of our crewmates introduced me to her. Mm -hmm. And as she was introducing me, that uh, um, Kimili, that was her name. She's a Malaysian-based VTuber. Oh, okay. When she introduced her to us, she was already graduating. So it was just six months. Her duration from debut to graduation it was only six months, which is... Really a sad thing. Like, um, and then I checked her YouTube channel to see what was the issue, and um, I I could see clearly that the channel was not growing. To be frank, like it only had max of three three digit views, but the most of them are two digits. I mean, I'm not going to how many views. And her graduation stream was private. It was set to private. So, and actually got me thinking like um in this industry of vtubers um you know as you can see a lot of vtubers a lot of these virtual life was graduating recently i mean coco herself you mean you discussed it or her about her graduation last episode if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. a lot of people will remember her like there were multiple projects about coco prior to her graduation. I don't know if you've seen that advertising was, project in Hong Kong. Uh, the Hong Kong, uh, no, the Hong Kong uh, the Hong Kong yeah. uh, bus stop ad, yeah. the Taiwan bus wrap. Yeah. I mean, and then there's be, a lot. I mean, come to think of it, there's a, when these um, these VTubers graduate, they are far more remembered. Like, what about the, actually I asked this question to my kurum. It's like, what happens to a VTuber? when after graduation is the memory or um like possibly forgotten like um how do you deal how do you deal with the memory you build with that virtual item like the thing is um it's a bit contradictory to our nature as humans like mm. when you interact with a vtuber the downside is it is a parasocial interaction parasocial as interaction Parasocial, so it's like, it's a social interaction, but not at that level. Like, you can interact with it in a tangent manner, like, you can, tangible manner. I mean, the positive side is you build a connection to that VTuber once he or she progresses throughout time for mm -hmm. streaming and devil. But once um, she announced, he or she announces the graduation, and especially if VTubers are specifically telling people that, um, to stop, um, stop saying her uh, like, please forget about it. Yeah, how do people deal with that? I mean, I don't want to go that route yet because I'm still a rookie in regards to supporting mm -hmm. VTubers. So I think um, that's only the downside I'm, I'm saying. Like, uh, when you build too much connection with your the VTuber that you're following, it turns into a burnout of some sort. Earlier, you mentioned yung parang para social relationship na what if yeah. a person gets attached too much to a VTuber? Well, here's mm -hmm. my answer. In the past, there's this anime called Bado Kamagika and I got attached so much to the series na I love Mami Tomoe but then episode 3 came and I was already coping with stuff. 
like thinking na what if eto what if ganun what if ganyan so para social relationships applying that in in the virtual context we always think that coco is in our hearts yes as a puso like yes Walang i always like re- <laughs> i always remember that the memory like um hmm. or don't think like um don't be sad that a particular entity has left smile yeah. that that smile particular that happen. has happened yes Oo. So, ayun nga eh, um, sayang nga lang, hindi ko siya na, ano, hindi siya nalutuan ng pork adobo. <laughs> Oo oh, nga, no? Si pork adobo gang eh. Yeah. Like, like, that was the clip last episode. So, yeah, ayun, yeah. Ano, <laughs> uh, yun. Pero, okay, moving on. Okay, let's yes. let's get deeper ano, into this. So, earlier, I showed a, yun nga, I showed nga yung, yung para yeah. diagram natin ng, uh, mm-hmm. again, this is quarters Uh, five forces. I, this is mm-hmm. parang practice ko to sa Porter's five forces na. So, mm-hmm. you always see that there's a lot of new entrants dito sa VTubing community na mga bagong players, independent man or uh, agency-based. And then, in order to be significant, they they have to spend resources, money. You, you need to spend money to earn money. And new VTubers need to learn uh, to stream live and use other necessary programs. VTubing is not necessarily na parang, oh, dito ka lang, tapos ito yung model mo. You will have to set up your own broadcast software. You'll have to set up your internet. OBS, you'll have to ask, you'll have, you have to ask your ISP to bring you the fastest internet connection alive. So That's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eh, And, and then again, uh, meron pa tayo dito. So suppliers, mostly mga studios, motion capture equipment, those who provide, mm-hmm. like, let's say, yung ano, uh, VTube Studio ni yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Denchi. Yeah. So mm-hmm. and, uh, they, they, uh, they, new players can start using the, these applications for desktop and mobile. So bibili nila ito or kung maswerte sila at makapaghanap sila ng different alternatives, then go. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Suppliers complement the creatives, meaning suppliers, studios, software hardware complement yung creatives na ano the motions and this yeah. is why you see Ueco Iron Vertex um uh, mm-hmm. mer pang isa eh uh, there there are lots of good triggers yeah, yeah. and the illustrators yeah. talaga um on the other hand there's this the power of customers kung pipiliin ka talaga or, or yun nga Oshi na di ba at uh, yeah. ngayon ang daming daming Oshi you no know? uh <laughs> Oshi din and then something something so there are many ah, ways for emotion <laughs> diba diba there you, like you you're emotionally invested ako emotionally invested ako kay Coco kahit ka ganyan ganyan mm-hmm. kahit na ano uh, 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 ikaw emotionally invested ka kay Coco eh. so <laughs> uh, viewers should relate to what the VTuber is doing or VTubers should relate to what the viewers are saying and virtual YouTubers offer the same experience as active streamers on streaming platforms Now, of course, before VTubers, there are streamers. Mga yes, games, mm-hmm. Dota, this is why Twitch is thriving. Mm-hmm. And the pagpasok ng VTubers sa Twitch, it, of course, it took a while for Twitch to officially recognize VTubers and give them yes, a VTuber uh, it, Actually, recently lang eh. Recently oh, lang diba? sila na-recognize. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Pero here's a competitive rivalry. Look at the middle. We have 100 offices uh, mm-hmm. as listed in user local. That's I believe that's Uh, user local kasi listed lang Japan eh. And then we have yeah. around 4,000 virtual YouTubers listed on V2B although it's mm-hmm. it's counting and counting and counting as of this speaker. Yeah. Yung mga bagong dagdag na ni Jisanji. Mm-hmm. Yun, so on so forth. And surpass, uh, yung user local Japan uh, report uh, to the Japan Times, uh, it mm-hmm. has surpassed 4,000. So, nine of the top 10 super chatted YouTube personalities are VTubers, this is worldwide. This is as of January 2021 pa. Pero mm-hmm. you can see na in the second half, Pecora is still reigning in the top five mm-hmm. streamers on Facebook gaming and YouTube gaming combined all together. No? Uh, number three. And there is, uh, I'm not sure mm-hmm. if there is a low threat for established brands. Kasi established brands dominate the landscape talaga. You see, Niji Sanji, Hololive, Bishojo, mm-hmm. and then there's the other small players. Pero these things, nagbabago tong diagram na to, nagbabago talaga tong diagram na to. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's fast changing to be honest. Di like, ba? Ang lakas um, ang turnaround eh. Mm, like, I mean, to be fair, to be fair ha, to be fair. Mer- mm. Maraming, there are, a lot, there are a lot of indie VTubers 
who are thriving on their own without any backing from any agents. I don't know, Bao? Bao yeah, is Bao, a Bao. Yeah. And I think this speaks um this speaks on a on a lot on a lot of levels. Like mm. um being on an agency doesn't necessarily mean that you will um have ample success. I mean yeah. um I don't know if um a, a lot of people were actually pessimistic back then when Air Asia announced Kurumi. It's like yeah, yeah, it's like um one of the one of the premises um the agency saw. Uh, actually mandated in their announcement is that the contract is one year long on the contract. And a lot of VTubers noticed that, like, oh, this looks like a problem. But I actually I actually wrote it on my personal blog that um, Project Hawaii on their first ever debut, on their first ever uh, idol, I think they they definitely won. I think um, they, they've struck what with Kurumi. I think Kurumi, for me, I, I, don't, I, I know I will, I will sound biased here, mm-hmm. and I will sound biased here, but mm-hmm. Kurumi, for me, when I, fir- uh, when I first interacted with her on stream and also on Twitter, she exudes this unorthodox idol energy, but at the same time, keeping in check those corporate backings alongside with her. So it's the mm-hmm. perfect mix, it's the perfect mix of corp- of, a, of a corporate standing and her genuine persona, which is unlikely to a traditional icon. Like, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. yes, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, mm-hmm. ang, biro nga, ang biro ko nga sa sarili ko dati noon eh. Uh, ito, ito yung magiging customer service ng AirAsia in 2020. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, I mean, a lot of a lot of simps for Kurumi. Like they're envisioning Kurumi to be on the plane's livery something sometime, like to be featured on the plane's wallpaper. And mm-hmm. I think I think Air Asia specifically announced during their press release that yeah, they partnered with Pixiv, the Japanese um, art community, um, because as you know um, September is Kurumi's official uh, birthday. So I think they will be holding a contest, and those content produced from Pixie will be specifically featured on select Air Asia flights, and then Air Asia Wi-Fi or Air Asia flights in the near future. Nice. Yeah. So it's 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 really a combination of kawaii, the the, the targeting to the youth audience, to the creative youth, and then this VTuber audience. So. Air Asia with this campaign, if that's happening, you know, I don't know if uh, they, they they said this press release long time ago, na di ba? Yeah, that they was in to May. Leaks. That was in May. Uh, May. Ayun, ano, so at least hindi to leaks. Uh, mm-hmm. Kasi di ba? This 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 hits on a lot of grounds. The, the youth audience who's uh, uninterested with Air Asia. Probably they want to check out bakit ang cute ng airline na to with that. But at the same time, they're targeting the creative public. Yun nga lang, of course, with, ano, tread, tread carefully. Yeah, they, yeah. Have to, they have to tread carefully because the creative community is unforgiving with tracing, unforgiving with unfair uh, treatments, unforgiving with, uh, well, most of them are unforgiving with uh, half-assed drone stuff, <laughs> half-assed creations. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Di ba? Kaya, kaya nga nabuhay ang guhit Pinas eh. Yeah. <laughs> kaya nabuhay ang guhit Pinas eh. Kaya nga may mga gusto talaga mag-develop na hindi talaga, ano ah, with all due respect, na hindi talaga mm-hmm. trip ang guhit Pinas. They want to go somewhere else. Kasi in, that's, if you want to be competitive, okay, go. You go there. Pero if you yeah, want yeah. To, to develop your inner craft and all, you can do it with the circle of friends or mm-hmm. with with a safe space safe space now safe moving space. forward uh vtuber audience is the same uh kung tweet ka lang ng tweet of course yan parating nirereklamo ni Kalayo Pimori even before the song <laughs> off with their heads now i'm starting to sound ranting na naman because going back to Jusagi she uh, Jusagi is called called out sabi nga focus on your little small wins. wins small yeah, wins yeah. no hindi little small wins Mm-hmm. So, nga eh, we, we, don't, we just can't focus on our small wins because we're comparing each other to the big shots. Like, why? I, I think I think Jasagi specifically said in his follow-up tweet, like, 
Mm-hmm. Um, he he generally agree, agrees to the consensus of the replies on his tweet. Like, we don't need to compare ourselves that um, indie versus corporate. I, I mean, we use the term corporate loosely because mm. they are they're more famous. But then again, you don't compare yourselves. You, you cannot compare yourselves. Uh, there's an analogy I saw, a funny an analogy I saw in Jusagi's tweets. Like, when you play on a basketball, a small basketball game, basketball game on a Saturday, and then you compare yourself to the NBA leagues, that's not fair. Like, you just practice one day at a local basketball court. And then all of a sudden, you want to compare yourself to an NBA big player. That's that's of, huge. That's a wide margin. That's a wide margin. Yes, difference. of course. Like there's a, I think there's a special charm between these two sides. These indie VTubers, who are these up and coming creators, they want to aspire to create a local, a close knit community. They want to build friends. They want to build connections. And that that goes as well with the corporate community. Like they know that they have they have this large following. Like every time someone debuts on this community, um, the large majority will follow that particular idol. And um, yeah, of course, there's a large margin. And um, speaking of that large margin, yeah, we really can't compare those two because they are two separate entities, despite being on the same umbrella. Hmm. So understanding these points, these points of view, and 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 I agree with the consensus as well. Na, na, this is a big, this is still a big community. Kaya sabi mo niche market siya. Youtubers yeah. currently are the niche market, pero tignan mo, Play Asia, Gun Corporate, the uh, corporate had a VTuber. Air Asia, corporate had a VTuber, have a VTuber. Um, let me add that. Netflix, although technically, Netflix, oh, ne- technically, technically Netflix it's, stuff. It's, um, yeah, it's embedded on the Netflix anime mm-hmm. YouTube channel, but still a VTuber. <laughs> still a VTuber, right? There's, yeah. there's something to represent. This is Europe Kara to the next level. Europe Kara, <laughs> uh, cute characters. This is a trend already developing in Japan to promote itself. So, sabi yeah. natin, di ba may mga local idols, di ba? There, there's this anime called Local Doll, uh, local mm-hmm. idols, and then they are uh, they have this mascot. Na, that happens since them. So, uh, this is on another level. Like Ibarra. Ibarra from Ibaraki. Uh, mm-hmm. There's this VTuber, Ibarra. forgot the name. <laughs> Tagal ko na kasi hindi nakikita eh, unfortunately. So, uh, from Ibaraki. Ibaraki Prefecture. Are there all VTuber? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, uh, no, that particular, um, um, I think, huh? a local ambassador or something. But, I mean, I... Let uh, just uh, let me just cut through the chase. Um, like I, I just want to insert this fact. Um, I think um local based J uh Japanese VTubers like I know the culture itself started from from this particular country thanks to Kizuna Ai. Yeah, she she's the first who first used uh, coined the term VTuber. Mm-mm. But actually, it got me thinking. Mm-hmm. Like the OGs are slowly losing relevancy due to the ongoing changes on trends. Yes. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, I, I just visited Kizuna Ai's channel a couple mm-hmm. of days ago. So I was listening to her tracks. I know Kizuna, Kizuna Ai has been producing a lot of music lately, partnering with brands, local local brands, as well as local producers like uh, Moe Shop. And it got me thinking like, oh no, this particular track was uploaded several days ago and it got only like... 100,000 views, which is unlikely for a channel with 2.98 million subscribers. Mm. It's, yeah, I mean, in this particular particular trend in the B2B industry, um, since it's all about pop culture, I think relevancy can be lost over time unless you go jump into that bandwagon. Like, Hololive started all that until, for me, really, Hololive started that untraditional route of, I mean, Yagu, I mean, head of, of Hololive, particularly mm-hmm. aimed Hololive to be like of a traditional idol, idol group, oh. like AKB48. Mm-hmm. And then, funnily enough, Garnt, uh, Garnt um, uploaded Garnt a video. Garnt of trash taste. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, he mentioned like, Yagu envisioned Hololive to be an AK for, like, to be like an, an AKB48 group. But what we got instead are idols that are carrying AK-47s. 
<laughs> because <laughs> brutal. Uh, yeah, they're br- they're brutal. Like they're cursing, they're screaming at the top of their lungs. Abusa. Which, yeah, <laughs> which, which surprisingly enough, got a lot of people to be curious about hollow life in general. It's like mm-hmm. comedians. Oh, yeah, comedians. War crimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of these Hollow Life members, they're they are natural comedians. Like, who's what the plan? Who's the um Corone? Yeah, Yubi Corone. Yubi Yubi. I mean, I, I, I watched a clip of her one night. Uh, I don't know what, not one night, a few days ago. Um, she was playing this game. It's voice activated, and it just keeps repeating her voice over and over again. And I never laughed so hard. It's like, and then it got me thinking. Yeah, these clips are the reason why people fell in love with VTubers at the first place, mm-hmm. thanks to the random algorithm, like you stated before. This, mm-hmm. yeah, the algorithm plays with these random clips, puts you on the home page. It's like, oh, I wonder what this is. And then, what do you know? You're down in the rabbit hole. <laughs> yes. Well, eventually, yeah. uh, alam mo na sa rabbit hole ka na, pero there's a deeper rabbit hole. Yep. And of course, <laughs> if you know, you know. Yun yeah, the, the, the usual code, the, the usual keyword, you know, that you, if you know, you know. Kasi, um, sa, sobrang bilis ang turn around. Even yung mga other na independents, when they apply to certain agencies, mm-hmm. uh, they, then they got, ano, they got in. Then they mm-hmm. eventually... Uh, graduate from their independent selves. So mm-hmm. we we keep we keep uh, the the cycle will still go on, I guess. Yeah. Pero yung sa pagtalagan sa veteran talaga, like Kizuna ay Kagoya Luna. Kagoya Luna is uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hindi siya active ngayon that much. Uh, Mirayakari, Mirayakari, and the Fujiaoi, uh, they mm-hmm. they have this new project with Fuji and no, that's not Fuji. Nippon TV, Nippon TV. Oh, yeah. Nippon TV will be broadcasting mm-hmm. VTubers. So oh, that's the peak. And uh, medyo huli na yung broadcast media ng Japan in that case. Eh. Pero mm-hmm. prior to that, meron na talaga mga, say, mga broadcasters in Japan that have VTubers as guests. Like, yes. For example, mm-hmm. I, or if I'm Actually, mistaken, I guessed it for News Zero ng Fuji. I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Um, I mean, um, actually, um, now that you mentioned that, I, 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 I read this article. Um, I was scanning Kizuna Ai's wiki. And I think Kizun, um, Kizuna Ai was embroiled in controversy back then. Yeah, she because, was embroiled um, in controversy because yun niya, the, 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 the thing about the company. It, no, no, no not, not the company. I know, not, not the particular about the company she's in, but. I don't know if you've heard that she was featured on a panel of Nobel Prize. Yeah, Nobel. Candidates. Yes, Nobel. Oh, oh. Yeah. And when I she, think, when she, she uh, done herself na may lockdown siya, no? Or sa lockdown. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of experts <laughs> criticized her. Like, she's just nothing, not not contributing to the conversation. And, and yeah, I get it because she's not that not knowledgeable. But someone, some analysts have considered like it's maybe an oriental thing because, you know, Japan is still a patriarchal society and yeah. women are still viewed as being inferior. But anyways, um, yeah, relevancy still plays a lot of the, in this industry. And if mm. you don't run fast in this relevancy train, you'll get left behind. Yes. That's for sure. Yes. Uh, yeah. Imagine, imagine uh, ikaw, sa video, kung ako, for example, VTuber ako, how many months do I uh, be staying in this mm-hmm. community na as a VTuber and not as just a, as a fan mm-hmm. or, or whatnot? Kasi even content creators like yours truly, uh, there's always that content block and, and uh, walang, ano, walang, walang makakatakas dyan sa content uh, block, sa writer's yeah. block, sa... Okay. Anything, But, like, Anything that disrupts your creative prowess. We, yeah. we all have been through. Like, even us at Paksa, like, just going back a bit with my idol back, with my idol endeavors back then. Mm-hmm. At Paksa MNL, the reason why we went into quasi, quasi hiatus was due to the fact that a lot of us were burnt out. That's what was what, happening. Burnt out what's na sa idols yeah. so on. Nakaka-burnout, yeah. especially with your community sa MNL, with our community sa MNL. 
hindi pwede hindi, hindi ko excuse sarili ko chan at one point. <laughs> di ba nga, bukaw yung back to the uphold AKB tradition stickers which tinanong yeah. ako doon sa helpless. Of course, you can air your grievances all the time, anytime gusto. Pero come to think of it, is it worth it? Is it worth it to continue fighting against for the traditions? Uh, traditions? <laughs> eh, yung, in, kung sinabi nga na sanctioned na to ng AKB 48 group, eh, think about it. Produce 101 was a new concept. That's true. That is true. I just want to know what's on your concept. So, I'm going to be tanga. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that we're going to be able at that time. Yeah. Na, no, uh, each other mm-hmm. supporting it. But you're tired, eh? Is it, is, mm-hmm. it, is it still worth it to fight when you're tired? Yeah. Is, is there any breaks? Mm-hmm. So, you're break. So, so wala na ako sa idols, sa Eminal Portrait. So, yan na ako, eh. <laughs> uh, so yun ang si issue and, and besides issues are coming up the fast enough for the general the, the pioneer generation bawas na sila bawas yeah. na and, and I mean, here we are here we are with VTubers hindi pa rin ako makakatakas sa drama kasi Hololive and then people uh, Hololive elitists are comparing mm-hmm. or Niji Sanji elitists there are some there are some not all mm-hmm na kung baka pinaglalaman itong dalawang okay so and then and then there's Visho John minding his own business mm-hmm. I mean diba? to be fair like regardless of what fandom you're in like whether you follow idols VTubers sports the toxicity will always be there it's Just inevitable na na <laughs> it, it's inevitable like I've watched this documentary yesterday about um, fandom cult- uh, football fandom culture in Indonesia and it is one of the most dangerous like and it got me thinking with all of this what it's happening on every fandom like do, do people really cross the line just to defend or to put themselves on the pedestal like it's you know it's unimaginable like mm-hmm. like um, elitists yeah I mean going back to that topic like um, some of my crewmates were actually were actually having a conversation back then. Like, um, if you don't know much about the culture, VTuber in general, these so-called elitists will cancel you for some reason for not knowing oh, the gate, fact about this. Gatekeeping yeah. again, you know? Gatekeeping, yeah. Like, like we genuinely enjoy the entertainment this particular content creator is giving us. Why should we? Why should you prevent us from enjoying that particular content? Like, do don't we have the right to interact with our favorite content creators? Then, like, do you really want to be the focus on the spotlight always for the content creator, that particular icon? Mm-hmm. And I think, and I think that's one of the sad things on fan, on fandom life. Like, when you engross too much, when you put too much effort, mm-hmm. the line that particular line, that boundary that holds the fan between the fan and the content creator themselves breaks through like a fourth wall. And all of a sudden, hell broke loose. You know, um, just imagine maybe inviting, invading someone's privacy just for the sake of defending your status as an elite fan. Yeah, mm-hmm. but for me, as what I've seen now in the VTuber community, for now I've seen a lot of positivity. Like the community themselves, this um, like giving for giving the instance, um, Jusagi Chan's community. Like I'm part of his server, the Isikai Inc. Like um, the group, the aspiring VTuber agency that he's creating. There are a lot of there's a lot of inclusivity, a lot of helping hands, and I think there's hope for this community. I mean, this circle of VTubers. Like, just don't mind those elite, this elite, those elitist fans and you're mm-hmm. good to go. I mean, it's inevitable, but as long as you do your job, I mean, do your job as a content creator, being genuine to yourself, being, um, yeah, being, I mean, we stay on marketing, having an organic reach. I think that's what matters. Mm. And thank you for pointing that out, because uh, I was I was this close to stop mentioning Hololive for the rest of the show. Because, yeah. uh, when, when we talk about Hololive, ah, what's happening? Ah, what's happening? 
Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, uh, for me, uh, if you were to ask me, um, I have to be honest, like, I'm more inclined into the individuals. Like, I want mm-hmm. to see their growth. And uh, can I talk now the exclusive part? I think it's a perfect cue for this okay, or maybe later. Okay. So, so, yeah, you can mention it right now. Okay. I think for me, when I first observed the individual community, like, mm-hmm. I've met a lot of these content creators. Like, I've, I've engaged with them. And they're so genuine. They want to succeed. And for me, I was thinking, what if I combine my knowledge on marketing and advertising and at the same time utilize my writing skills? And um, what I was envisioning was a media news, um, a media portal that is concentrated to VTubers only. Mm, Indonesia has done, has done and made one out of that huh. concept. Yeah. <laughs> well, Well, for me, it's about when a VTuber wants to debut, we can make them we can make them press releases about their upcoming talent or create um, feature-centric stories about them. I don't know if it, it's way going over my head, but I think um, I'm, I'm always a firm believer of journalism. That's why I, I want to venture out into creating a media group. Like, Ever since I joined Marketing APAP and seeing the success that we have, like despite being just founded just last year, like Marketing APAP was found last May last year. And come to think of the growth that we've come through, like we've hosted two webinars, we've hosted um, exclusive interviews. And yeah, seeing the success my boss had in managing a media news portal got me thinking, what if... I use the skills that I have to help those in the community that want those in the community that want to have a greater reach. So that's where the media news portal comes in. And I know I've yet to visit. Yeah, you might, if you mind, um, sending me the link. Maybe I could visit. The, <laughs> the yeah, it's mostly in Indonesian though. So yeah. Of course, it's always the Indonesian. I don't want to be stereotypical or anything, but. Indonesians, when it comes to fandom culture, they they tend they're to be really dedicated to uh, yes, to they're that over... point, right? Yeah, they're over. Yeah, great. Oh wait, he sent it on Twitter. Yeah. Ah, uh, not yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check it. Yeah, out. I'll check it. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, you know, no. Uh, well, mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm in with the concept, and uh, yeah, we can discuss this uh outside of the show. Afterwards. No? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I mean this concept. Uh, pero moving forward, at least you mentioned your yes, idea. Yes, yes. I was already thinking that we have agency, pero dedicated to VTubers. Is this a paid opportunity? Huh. I think we can follow the same route like my boss did. Like on our on the early years of our operations at Quantity Data. When it comes to these um, like press releases, feature stories. Of course, they're free. The press releases are free, but when it comes to features like uh, exclusives, maybe when the audience starts growing and there's an organic reach, maybe we could start like paying, like just like a normal media company would do. Ah, like wait. All right. So okay, I just shared the the site. It's called Virtual Corner. Uh, it's mm-hmm. based in Indonesia. So I uh, just found it out because they're one of the media partners for Comic Frontier Virtual, which is happening at this moment for recording. And I come to think of it, News Indonesia actually has VTubers? Grabe. Indonesia, Malaysia, despite relative- Philippines. <laughs> this, despite all of these things, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, um, pinaka-active na VTuber community sa Southeast Asia, no doubt. And that's me speaking oh. here. That's based in the Philippines and all that. And all. So yeah, moving forward. Uh, well, let's let's see where that goes. And all. Pero mm-hmm. for now, where can we find you? Aside from Twitter, aside from Marketing APAC, where uh, where can we find yeah. you online? Um, you can find me on Facebook um, at Teddy Morales Cambosa. That's my official Facebook account. Boom, boom I'm pangalan, also... na. <laughs> yes, that's my full name. Um, I'm also on Instagram at ikambosa. And um, yeah, that's basically it. That's where I'm... Oh, yeah, wait. I forgot. 
despite being dormant on that account, I'll, 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 I'll feature it anyway, my corporate Twitter account, T. Cambosa 10. Yeah, that's my uh, Twitter account. <laughs> corporate All right. Twitter account. All right, let's go. So with that said, thank you very much, Teddy. And it's been a while, again, since uh, I did this, uh, I did these kinds of conversations na casual lang. Walang tanong. Mm-hmm. Puro sagot. Puro yeah. kwento. <laughs> Oh, Pento lang. Pento lang. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. And I, 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 I love listening to more of your stories as you grow as a Kurunate. As Ika nga. No? That's, that's the fan you. name for all of Kurunate's fans. And yeah, might as well check out Kurumi as well. She's a pogger. Yeah. Uh, she's a mm-hmm. pogger. Oh yeah. Um, let me just uh, point out. Um, since um, a, a lot of viewers here, um, yeah, please do check out Azora Kurumi. Of course, she's corporate back, but she's one of the most genuine VTubers that I have ever encountered. It's like being biased. Mm-hmm. So, if you want to check out also other, um, my other works, um, you can also visit Paksa MNL online. And yeah, if you are a marketing and advertising company that wants to get featured on our site, on Market APA, you can send us your press release or your story pitches at editorial at marketech-apac.com. You know, you know, plug-in, plug-in na plug-in talaga. No? As for yeah. me, uh, I'm a senior news editor for Anime Corner. That's animecorner.me. Mm-hmm. And we have a uh, upcoming VTuber section there. So, uh, may mga major stories kami about VTubers starting from Niji Sanji to B. Shoujo. And of mm-hmm. course, Hololive as well. Ano? Any major VTuber updates. You can find it on VTuber section mm-hmm. over at AnimeCorner.me. Plus, lots of stories about the anime community. And that's where my time is spent mostly. You know? uh, mm-hmm. Aside from keepsakes, you can find me on Twitter at Jagonite. And mm-hmm. I share memes and stuff. So, yun, I guess that's about it for me. And uh, mm-hmm. past episodes can be heard on anchor.fm slash keepsakes and youtube.com slash Jagonite. Once again, Teddy, thank you very much for Gracing your uh gracing us here in the podcast. Yeah, it's and... been a pleasure, Jay. I've, I've actually enjoyed this podcast. Like it's been ages since I've had a genuine conversation with someone, and it's a pleasure to have talked with you. Okay. Next episode, dole, yeah. Next episode, dole. Yes, of uh, course. Maran usapan no oh, any any major developments and yes. Uh, speaking of past episodes, last episode, uh, tagal na namin pinabanggit to. Uh, we had an episode on uh, Kier Kokos graduation and. Before before that, we have a simps guide to virtual uh, for upcoming virtual YouTubers. That's basically uh, Huddle, uh, and then um, after this episode, siguro I'll talk to that guy. <laughs> na subject nung that specific episode. Yeah, that specific. Right yeah, yeah, that episode. <laughs> yeah, that specific episodes. So again, parang salamat and again for the lo- uh, I do apologize for the lala. No? Uh, pero yeah we move we move forward we move forward uh, with our stuff this is keepsakes and I'm Jay Gonay thank you and until the next episode thank you thank you very much thank you very much guys for listening <laughs>